What is good? Welcome back to the show. It's Speaker's Lab. The gang is back. Hey, we're all here today. We're back on the Sound on 12 to do some Clash. Welcome to the show. So I want to say it's up in the top, guys. It's up by Lulu, but join the gang. This is the second day of our campaign to join the gang. If you guys aren't already subscribed, please do. Uh, it's gonna try to get us to that million sub uh, mark, and then I'm gonna shut up about it. Anyway, guys, why don't we get in here, and um, we're gonna do some stuff today. And what have we been doing lately? Hoggos and Dragos. You know? <laughs> it's really it. I get addicted to one thing, or maybe two things, and then I, I really, like, you know, don't think about anything else. And today is no different, but guys, I got an idea from one of my clanmates. Okay, so it's kind of funny. You guys know how I've always just hated dragons? I've always just made fun of them, thought they sucked. <laughs> Still kind of do, I guess. But guys, right now we're using this army that we got from Dark Taco, my clanmate, and it's it's got a bunch of dragons in there. But the normal dragons, we have 10 of them. That's crazy, right? Like for a guy who never really liked dragons, that's crazy. But guys, Dark Taco was just saying, in the clan castle, he's been doing dub dragos. Normally, I've been just been using balloons in here. Cool, you know, balloons can be pretty great, but what happens when balloons just jump out of the, the siege? They just die. <laughs> they just like slam into something and die. And yeah, they do some work, but what are double dragos gonna do? I think we gotta check this out, guys. I think we gotta check this out. Hey, speaking of which, why don't we check out, um, oh, this is a good example, dude, because, okay, this is a base you're gonna see. Eh, something like this base. I mean, maybe not this exact one, but if we watch this, we can see, just get a refresher on, you know, how to actually use this army and not be a scrub. So, guys, um, okay, this is pretty much what we do. We drop the king, we drop the queen, we try to get some high-value targets. Maybe, you know, I usually go for the whist towers, but in this case, getting two expos, that's no joke. I mean, they were, what do you call them? Pointing up? Is there a better word? Up facing? Um, not really. <laughs> I was trying to shorten things, but in this case, I think we might just have to say Expo's pointing up. So guys, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. We missed something over here. What? Hmm. I wish I could rewind, because I kind of want to see what the clearing... Oh, it was an Electro Dragon. They put an Electro Dragon on the right corner, the far right corner to clear that. Crazy. Oh, word. So the... Whoa. Okay, so the Warden is all the way over there. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt, man. So the warden was over there, so it didn't protect the dragons that were taking down the town hall, but I guess it's fine. It's cool. So look at this, man. This just looks stupid easy. At this point, all the wizards towers are taken down, and there is a just ton of free spells left. Taco's not even gonna need those free spells. You know he's not. Like, he's probably gonna need one, maybe two. Yeah, he's probably gonna use the second one right now. Peace. Are you kidding? That's a wrap, dude. That's a wrap. Oh, just stun. Way to be a good sport. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, you get what I mean, though. Like, all the all the high-value stuff is on the corners in this. And corners are kind of easy to get to. Lulu, what are you doing? Are you chewing on your foot? Alright. Just... Don't be weird, okay? Oh, hey, dude! I... I... Crap, we should just go and raid. But before we do, I wanted to show you, um, didn't I get one? Yeah, dude, we got a three star in here and it was with Dragbat. I, I mean, it wasn't the best base ever. Not not that it wasn't a good design. This base just isn't max. Like not everything is max, but I was psyched to get a three star, man. Plus because we're the lowest person in our clan. So we should be taking, you know, some of the lower bases in the enemy clan. I honestly don't know why we're the lowest in our clan. Why is that? Like, look, okay, look at this base. Okay, this person has a level 46 king. The queen is max. Okay, so really not that much different. I mean, I see the king and the walls. That seems like the biggest difference. But still, you know, we're, we got a higher level base than this person. Whatever. Okay, so, uh, yeah, guys, this is where I always kind of, you know, should I use the electro drag to clear the corner? Should I use the siege? And in this case, I obviously use the siege. And look at what's in there, man. Okay, so it was ground troops. It was honestly kind of an accident, but it worked. Okay, where's the P.E.K.K.A.? Oh, I thought the P.E.K.K.A. took out the queen. Never mind. Man, that was garbage. That was straight garbage. See, that's what I'm talking about. If we had had double dragons in there, those dub drags may have gone over to the queen and killed her. You never know, but I mean, it's certainly there, there's certainly a chance. But anyway, guys, we, we got the same sort of thing going on here. Like it is, you know, Taco's raid seemed to be a lot more effortless. This seems to be, you know, we're, we're really having to work hard for this, but we're getting through the base. We're, we're well over halfway through the base. And so here come the bats. So we don't have a lot of freezes. That is definitely a problem. I never save the freezes. So there's one. It's gonna be tough. Oh my God. 
How does that happen to me, man? I just got killed by a trap. Bats don't even activate traps, but I just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's funny, man. It's just bad luck. But anyway, guys, we still got it. I felt really good about this. I, you know, it was the first attack I did today. And normally that's a bad idea. You should kind of warm up before you do an attack, especially in war. But we got it. Cool. Anyway, guys, let's go do some of these raids. Here we go. Hey guys, while we search for, for a raid today, what? <laughs> Hang on, we'll have to get back to that. Are you kidding? Um, hi, Omid. What's up? Dude, I just had a feeling it was going to take a little while to find a base. Apparently not. Dude, and this thing is almost dead or it's, you know, creeping towards being dead. Look, that is... Oh my god. I... Stop it. This is wild. So guys, let's not waste any time, which we always do. Um... Which should we go? I mean, we got to get the town hall, but also the queen is kind of on the other side. You know what? Let's just go for the town hall because I have a feeling maybe the, maybe the infernos are going to burn out. Cool. Let's go. Um... Dang, this is a tough choice, but I'm gonna start over here. Boom, boom. Was that the right side? Not really, because there's an air, well, there's an air defense on both sides. It's cool, it's cool. So guys, let's get in here. Uh, what do we want to do on the other side? Electro drag? Yeah, probably. Okay, cool. Let's do it up. I'm probably gonna drop one balloon. Oh, yeah, bud. Cool. Okay, so guys, we've already gotten one whiz tower. Um, This is a little weird, like, yeah, okay, now we're now we're getting in. Now we're getting in. Okay. Queen. Boom. Alright, man. Cool. Let's do this up. So guys, uh, let's get going. Boom, 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 boom. 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 Alright, what's good? Haha! -ha! Oh wait, we gotta freeze. Um, yeah, so this Ah, that's an annoying thing to freeze. Just whatever. I can't just sit there with the air blower just blasting me. Uh rage right there. Get it, please. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh yeah, so like I said, dude, that's burning out. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, so guys, we're running out of... Go, 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 go. Ah, this is amazing. Oh, this is such a good raid, dude. I love this. Uh, so guys, we're distracting still, but I'm gonna drop a freeze. I don't wanna mess around. It's a wrap, dude. We just got this. Oh my God. We just got this with a freeze to spare. Wait, the dragons never came out. Stop it. How could that be? So we get to save the dragons for next time, right? Because if you don't, yo, I'm almost positive you get to save the dragons. Because if the siege never pops open, the clan castle technically never is dropped. That is so funny. I also think you should be able to save the siege. You know what I mean? Like the siege can just come back in and get repaired. You know, I feel like in any other game that would be the case. So I feel like Clash should do that. But at the same time, it's not a big deal. Somebody donated it to me or I think, or maybe I use my own, but either way, like you can get one of those donated. Your friends and climates wanna donate, but dude, that was insane. Look at that. What? Hey gang, so before that last raid, we're about to tell you our sponsor for today's video. And this is honestly the, the coolest thing that's ever happened here. Like I am so psyched about this. I really wanna make this, uh, I really wanna make this work. Guys, Lulu got sponsored by Chewy.com. If you guys know Chewy.com, you're probably like, what? Dude, it's like an online pet store. So basically you go there, you get your pet's food, you get everything. It's like got all pet supplies and it gets delivered right to your house. Free shipping if you order like 49 bucks or something worth. So we do it all the time, man. I have done it for years. And the fact that Chewy like just sent Lulu a bunch of free stuff, like, it's like a dream come true, seriously. But anyway, guys, look, Chewy.com is amazing. If you guys live in the US, I think they only ship to the US, but if you live in the US, you got pets, and you want to support Beaker's Lab, because this really does mean a lot to me. I, I really, really want to make this work. Uh, go to the description below this video. We're going to put a link down there. It just tells them that we sent you. And when you sign up and make your first order, I believe, they're going to give Lulu some credit for more crunch shows. But anyway, guys, whatever you want to get for your pets, Chewy's got it. And honestly, I can't believe this is real. <laughs> So yeah, check it out. Yo, look at this. I just scratched my neck because it was itching and now I look like I've been attacked by Lulu. Lulu, what'd you do? Uh, okay, guys, this looks good. This looks real good, dude. What? Every single Inferno is single? Okay, okay, we gotta go for this. But guys, what we gotta do first is uh, load up on a good siege, one we need. Um, I think this will probably be our final raid of the day. So Jennifer, it's your lucky day, I guess. That sounded very, very strange. Don't let me say that again. Okay, guys, Um, let's do... 
Oh, this is funny. All the air defense are up at the top. All, oh my God, this is perfect. This is a perfect base. Uh, Jennifer, I would say this is not a base you should have. Boom, boom. We're about to see why. So I think guys, if we do this correctly, we're gonna take out every single whiz tower or pretty much all of them at the beginning of the raid. And then we can drop the bats. They're gonna have no problem getting everything else. This is gonna be fun. But this is, oh, this is gonna be a little weird. Yeah. I mean, we gotta do this, but yeah, this is gonna be a little weird. Uh, okay, King. Yeah, Teslas. Wait, can we reach those Teslas? Yes, okay, I was making sure. Yeah, I mean, I thought we could. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. All right, guys, I should have dropped this already, but here we go. Boom, boom. Dang, I should have, I should have been quicker on the draw here so the queen didn't die. Ah! Anyway, uh, we're dropping, uh, we're tripping some traps here. Let's do, boom, boom. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. All right. Rage and another rage. Okay, dude, you can see here that we have a ton of free spells. We actually kind of didn't bring enough um, of everything else. Like we didn't bring enough bats, honestly, but it, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, so take that down, take that down. Peace. Here we go. This is gonna be really weird only having Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is gonna be really weird only having four bats, but I think we're okay. I mean, should I freeze the air defense? I, I don't feel like they're powerful enough to take out bats fast enough, but I guess I have the freeze, I might as well. Um, and yeah, here's the final threat, guys. We got this uh, whist tower over here. It's not doing anything. I mean, not to the bats. It's already dead. Cool. So anyway, we got a cleanup troop as well. Man, this was a perfect base. Jennifer, I feel like your base would work great against everything but bats. And bats are really uh, popular right now. And it's funny, like, I feel like, I've talked to some of my clients about this. I feel like bats were so OP for a while because people weren't really taking them into account. Like they were using bases like this where it was easy to three star with bats. And now that's changed. Like if you see, let me go back to, let me go back to our war right now and just show you like any base is gonna be hard with bats. Oh my God, is this true? Oh, that's so sad. Hang on. Oh, this is so sad, dude. Oh my God. Dude, this guy is like, I mean, you guys might know him as you know, the guy who made Burton snowboards, but he's like a local hero here in Vermont. Like he's from Vermont. He's from like right where I grew up. This is really sad, man. Plus this just, this just bothers me even more because like people that we look up to, this stuff happens to them too. You know what I mean? Like it sucks. Like, I don't know if all you guys know this, but I had cancer in 2016. Like, I'm not kidding. I had testicular cancer. <laughs> it's kind of funny to talk about now, right? Like I have one ball, but um, it's it's no big deal to me. But like, look at what happened. Like it can happen to anybody, man. It's really sad. And I'm sorry to any of you guys who have to deal with this with your family and you and 65, man. My mom is 65. <sighs> God, this scares me, dude. Anyway, guys, sorry to <laughs> leave on such a sad note today. I really don't mean to do that. It's um. Homie doesn't want us to be sad. I'm telling you, like that dude was so chill. Yo, I shouldn't even tell this story, but my grandfather and him were kind of like at odds one time, like decades and decades ago. So before snowboarding was a thing, it was not a thing. And my grandfather was the head of ski patrol and he wouldn't let Jake go up the mountain with a snowboard. And he's like, that's not skis, you can't have that here. And then it became like the biggest thing that got young people back into like skiing and snow, uh, you know, just being on snow again. Crazy. Anyway, guys, on that sad note, uh, yeah, it's a good day. Don't worry, we're all, we're all good. We're all having a good day. So uh, please let us know how you're doing in the comments below. Uh, check out Chewy again if you have pets. It's right down there in the description. I'm gonna leave it there for a little while. I mean, uh, Lulu's sponsored and until that stops, you know, we'll, we'll leave it there if you guys want to, uh, Want to check out some pet food? Just be sure to use that link because then it'll give her credit uh, when you sign up and make your first order. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. 
We love you. Uh, do we have enough to do an upgrade? We have some wall loot, but you know what? I kind of like to do it all at once. Let's wait until we have like 10 million, at least. So uh, we'll do it next time. Cool. Anyway, we love you guys. We will see you tomorrow right here on Because I have Peace, gang.